Right now, if you search YouTube for Bose Pro Flight Reviews, all the top results that come up are really slick videos that talk a lot about the headset features, nice things you can do, but they don't actually review it. And that's because those are all ads. If you see a link to Bose or Amazon in the description, that's not a review, that's an ad. So I decided to do my own review here. You can tell I'm a real airline pilot because I'm doing this from a hotel room. So why did I buy this? Well, I used to use a uh, Bose QC25 consumer headset with an in-flight mic. And I really liked how light portable it was, very comfortable, a lot lighter than the A20s, but um, it broke a couple of times. They were pretty good about replacing it under warranty, but I was getting tired of having it break on trips, so I wanted something more reliable. I decided to go with this because I've used the A20s before and I found them just to be a little too big and overkill for the CRJ. Using it in flight, the microphone works well. The active noise cancellation is okay. Uh, it could be quieter, I think. It would be nice if it was a little bit quieter, but it's not bad. It's plenty quiet enough for the CRJ. I probably wouldn't try to use it on anything much louder than that. So if you're flying a turbo prop, uh, might want to stick with the A20s. I leave the noise cancellation on high all the time. It has a switch here with three settings, low, medium, and high. I actually don't know why they even included this switch because low is meant as a pass through so you can hear people talking to you, but it seems to really just amplify the noise around you. So it ends up sounding like you're in a small bathroom with a loud fan running. Medium is a little bit better, but again, the headset's not that quiet to begin with. So you might as well leave it on high all the time. They could have just not even put this switch on here. Would have been fine. Now, one really nice feature of this compared to the A20s is that you can change the side that the microphone is on very easily. There's no tools required. You just push a button here, which I can't really do with one hand, but you just push a button, the microphone pops out, you put it on the other side. No tools, no screwdrivers. So if you're switching back and forth between seats, you can easily switch it over. One of the benefits of the Series 2 or improvements they made over the Series 1 is they made the, the core lightweight, so uh, it doesn't tug on the headset. And that, that works as advertised. You can leave the cord hanging. It has a shirt clip, but either way, it doesn't weigh down the headset. You can turn your head and you don't feel it pulling. One feature that shows up in all the Bose advertisements is the, the tap to pass through feature which looked cool on video. And when I bought the headset, uh, I was surprised to see that that feature is disabled by default. To enable it, you have to actually take out the batteries and flip a switch underneath the batteries in the control unit. And I thought, well, that's weird. They're advertising it, so why would they ship it like that? So I turned it on and I immediately realized why they do that, uh, because the feature just doesn't work very well. It interprets, uh, any touch on this is a tap. So every time you try to adjust the headsets, it'll turn on or off the noise canceling on one side. It can also be hard to tell whether the feature is enabled or not. So you're just tapping, trying to turn it off and on and see if there's a difference. You might have one ear with noise canceling and one ear without and not even realize it on the ground. So I turn that back off immediately. The main problem with this headset really is that it's kind of a jumbled mess of wires and cables here and because it seems so flimsy I think it really needs to be in its case but it doesn't even fit in its own case they made the case as small as they could um, and if you try to leave it right side up the case won't even close you have to turn it face down this way and you have to wrap the cable in kind of a specific way to get it to work so you'll see the video cut there because I actually needed both hands to put this in the case. Uh, if you wrap it up like this, you can get the case to close with a little bit of effort. As far as saving space in your bag, I'm not really sure there's even an advantage to this because you have to carry it in the case. You don't want this loose with wires going everywhere and the case is actually kind of large. It's it's kind of a struggle to to fit it in. This side is a cooler section. 
so I could put it in there, but if I want to put it in the in the headset compartment, you really got to cram it in there. Uh, it's actually easier to carry something like the Bose A20s with no case, just wrapped up with the cord. So my final thoughts on this, uh, eh, it's okay. <laughs> this, okay, this part's for real. I'm not even doing it for the video.